Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and so for today's video I have such an exciting video for you guys. I am so excited for it. I'm going to be reviewing the Zodiac Collection with Colourpop and Kathleen Light. And in case you guys didn't know, Kathleen Light is one of my favorite YouTubers. I look up to her so much and she's definitely like my favorite beauty YouTuber that there is. I just think that she's such a great, talented person. So congrats Kathleen on this amazing collection. So basically right when it was announced, I was like, okay, I need to buy this collection right away. So I did. I only picked up a couple of things from the collection because, you know, I just had to buy my textbooks for the fall time and that was definitely not cheap. Um, <laughs> so I obviously got the Zodiac palette and that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today and then I also got a Super Shock Cheek and then I also got the Super Nova Shadow so I'm going to be reviewing those three products today in the video. So if you guys want to see how I kind of like achieved this makeup look and my thoughts and opinions on the collection then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I already went ahead and primed my eyelids with concealer and set that down so now I'm going to go into the Zodiac palette and I'm so excited for this. So I think the kind of look that I want to go for is kind of more like pink tones because there's a lot of like pretty pink shades in here but I also love this blue shade right here which is called the Pisces um, this blue shade right here looks absolutely stunning so I think I might want to maybe play around with that on like the lower lash line or something like that I don't know we'll see I'm gonna start off with this shade right here which is called the Libra and I'm just going to apply that into my crease I absolutely love the fact that this palette has a mirror I'm so happy with that Then the next shade that I'm going to go in with is this one right here which is called the Sagittarius and I'm going to go ahead and apply that into my outer V and corner. Okay so I definitely did go for the halo eye. I'm just going to go ahead and build up this shade to just kind of make it just a little bit darker. So next I'm going to go back in with the crease shade that we used which was this one right here which is called the Libra and I'm just going to go ahead and reapply that in the crease just to make sure that everything is blended out evenly. And then after that I kind of want to add a little bit of kind of like a sparkly sheen to it but not too much and I'm thinking that maybe if I add this shade it might kind of darken up the look a little bit. I'm going to go in with this shade right here which is called the Scorpio and I'm just going to kind of pack that on the outer V then also the inner corner. Once that shade is on, I feel like that didn't do too much, but I think it just added just a tiny bit more of like darkness into the look. I am going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm just going to apply this onto the back of my hand, and then I'm going to go in with just kind of like a really small flat shader brush. I'm going to kind of carve out my crease and just kind of carve out like the middle section of my eye because I am going to go in with the Supernova shadow on top. So I just want to make sure that it's just like a really clean cut for the Supernova shadow to go on top of. So now that I have that concealer base down, I kind of just want to set it and kind of make a pigment for it before I go in with the Supernova shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here, which is called the Cancer, and I'm just going to apply that on top of where I put the concealer. And then next, I am honestly so, so, so excited to use this. So this is the Supernova Shadow, and this is in the shade Constellation, and I have always wanted to try out ColourPop's Supernova Shadows, but I just never got around to doing so. So I'm really excited to try these out because I absolutely love the Stilla liquid eyeshadows. Those are like my favorite thing ever. And so, like I said, I am just really excited to go ahead and try this out. That is literally stunning. I love that. I 
I know it looks really crazy right now because it literally just looks like a stripe. So I will be going back in to kind of blend all of that together. Back with this shade right here. This is the more matte shade of the Scorpio. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. After that, I'm going to go back in with the crease shade that we used, which was this one right here, which is called the Libra. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that into my crease and just kind of make sure that everything is blended out evenly. So the eyes are done for right now. I am going to go ahead and apply my face makeup and I will be back to test out the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. So I just went ahead and did my eyebrows and then I did my primer, foundation, and concealer. So now I'm going to test out the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and I am so excited. I love Flexitarian. That's honestly one of my favorite highlights. So I am really excited to try this out. This is what it looks like. And I know Kathleen had mentioned you can use this before or after powder, but I'm someone where I only like to use cream products before my powder. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and use this now. It's not as blinding as I thought it was going to be. Maybe I just have to build it up. Yeah, this isn't as like blinding as I thought it was going to be. I know on Kathleen it looks so stunning. So I think I might try applying this again after I do my powder because maybe it'll be a little bit more blinding. I don't know. I don't know how well you can pick it up on camera because highlight never shows up on camera anyways for me. I have no idea why. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put on powder and then I will be right back to you guys to see if this will show up more on top of a powder. So I went ahead and just applied some powder. So I'm going to go back in with the highlight to see if maybe it'll show up a little bit more on top of powder. It's showing up a little bit more now on top of powder which I find to be really interesting because normally I feel like it wouldn't look good on top of powder. It also could just be this foundation that I'm wearing because I'm wearing like a super full coverage foundation. So definitely like this. I think maybe in the future I will just use it on top of powder. Um, this is also even a little bit too dark for my skin. I don't know how well you can see it, but... On camera you can kind of see those stripes so I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just kind of like blend this out a little bit and I'm pretty sure on oh did I even mention this was the shade on the cusp but I'm pretty sure this one was the lighter of the two so I'm kind of surprised that you can kind of see the stripe of highlight when I look just dead on I do really like it on the skin I think it looks really pretty I am just concerned if you are like lighter than me if you're super pale this might even be too dark for you but I'm pretty pale as it is, so I don't know. We'll see. So now I'm going to finish off the eyes before I finish off doing like my bronzer and everything like that. So I'm going to go back into the Zodiac palette. And I really am obsessed with this blue shade right here, which is called the Pisces. And I kind of want to put that onto my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face makeup with my bronzer and then my powdered highlight and then I'm also going to do my mascara and then I will be right back to you guys to kind of finish off the look and do the lips. So this is the completed look that I came up with. I unfortunately did not get any of the Lux lipsticks that were in the collection. So I did just go in with Kathleen's gloss that she came out with Dream Street and this one was in the shade Moonchild. So I just went ahead and quickly applied that. Overall, I love the products that I got. I am just a little bit worried about the highlight because I think it's just a tad too dark for me, but I think I'm gonna be able to make it work. So I'm interested to play around with that more. I absolutely love the Supernova shadow. I'm really excited to play around with this again more with just like other colors because obviously I did it with this pink look and then like a blue on the lower lash line. So I'm really interested to try this out with just like more simple colors, even with just kind of like a brown, um, more like a neutral toned look. And then I obviously loved the palette. I think that the palette was so stunning. I just love everything about this collection because I think it's really cool because I feel like it can relate to literally everybody because everybody has a sign. And so I think it's so cool to like, have this palette and be like, oh my god, like, this is my sign, like, that's so cool, like, I don't know, I just think it's, like, a really cool concept, and 
I am a Virgo and so my kind of shade in this palette is this dark brown and so unfortunately I didn't use it in this look today. So I think this just like the whole concept of this collection is just really cool. I'm someone where I'm not really into like, signs and stuff like that. I don't know much about it but definitely like after this collection kind of seeing Kathleen's video and her like describing the signs. I'm definitely really interested in kind of learning more about it because I do think it's very interesting. It's just not something that's ever caught my attention. But now, like I said, I'm very interested in kind of like learning more about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe because I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys in my next video.